Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to some more Total War 1220 Medieval gameplay. In the last episode, we went ahead and basically secured our borders, protecting our land, and trying to just basically sort out our sanitation issues, which were plaguing the land quite literally, um, and taking down a lot of our forces. We also put up some nice defenses at Taras uh, right here, and I think we might be going to try and push on the enemy a bit more aggressively elsewhere, trying to take out a few of their positions and securing some nice bits of their territory. So we have an army full stack right here, raring to go. It does need maybe a mercenary or two. We can pick up another unit of knights and uh, maybe move on Antioch. I also at the same time want to move down and try and take out um, the Cyprus as well, try and secure that for ourselves. I think that'll be a nice little position because if we take Cyprus, we can then strike along the entire uh, coastline of the Middle East pretty easily and try and secure ourselves a bit of extra land. I'm also hoping the French as well will start to be a bit more aggressive. They've been struggling with Armenia and Georgia. Uh, the Polish are still making kind of headway, but I think again, they're starting to slowly get pushed back. We honestly just need the huge amount of armies up here to the north to flutter their way down because there are so many here is actually pretty insane. Uh, but let's get back to our positioning. Do we want to push on Antioch? No, I believe we came back right because we're waiting for this army and the Onagas in that army before we do decide to move up and siege them because I believe they actually do have some armies pretty close by if I'm not mistaken. And we were trying our best to avoid that um, and we were trying to hopefully encourage the fact that uh, we're not going to get attacked. Because if we do lose some armies, it's still going to play a big role in this huge world war. We don't want to uh, run out of men and have to re-recruit soldiers because we have kind of overextended pretty quickly, I would say. Like, we've set our armies full, we've taken land, but we haven't really built the infrastructure as we've gone. We've kind of just pushed forward as fast as we can and kind of ignored everything else um, because the war's been going pretty good in our favour. And as someone, like, as I've been playing a lot of DEI recently, I've, I've definitely come across how important that additional infrastructure can be and how much you actually have to rely on it, uh, which is pretty awesome. And also, I know I keep on mentioning this in my, my, my videos, but if you haven't checked it out These yet, I highly, highly recommend you go over and follow me on Twitch. Me and Republic of Play, Darren Total War, as you might know him by, are doing a head-to-head -head, uh, Rome 2 DEI campaign. DEI adds in population, supply, adds in a ton of other stuff. It's an amazing mod, probably the best mod for Total War out there. And we've been streaming it for about, I don't know, two months now. We're about 160 turns into the campaign. We've both got these pretty big empires and we're finally starting to collide with one another. So if you want to watch some epic head to head campaign for these two epic empires, lots of strategy and kind of mind games going on, then I highly recommend you go over and follow me on Twitch. This is twitch.tv uh, slash Jackie Fish, and uh, we're streaming again on Monday, 2 p.m. BST. So yeah, as I said, I highly recommend it. It's probably my favorite campaign of all time in Total War. Um, and even if it's like, oh, I haven't watched a previous episode, so I'm going to be a bit lost. Honestly, do not worry about that. Uh, you know, things are just getting started and heated up um, as, you know, both of us are really, you know, trying to mind game each other. There's been a huge kind of endeavor in wars. Like, he's just gone to war with one of my allies who didn't call me in. And now I'm contemplating going to war with him um, or I might not. It's just like really really cool like it honestly is me and Darren both play really immersively that's not what I wanted to do oh god damn that garrison is awful okay well what we want to do now then does this army reach it does okay good so what we want to do uh we want to lift the siege really quickly because we do want to keep these armies here uh but we do want to move this army is it not in range oh it's not no what we can we do this I don't know if this is going to work though because it will take the lowest movement range right I mean, we want to give them an artillery piece anyway. But now they can't move in, I don't think. No, they can't reach us. So we're going to have to wait an entire another turn. I am, however, going to send this army up to here. Uh, we're going to go secure this province. Is the Sultanate of Rum on our side in this war? They are. Perfect. So hopefully they'll keep on expanding out. I guess I'll set a war target here. And hopefully they'll go towards it. We can't get any trade with anyone else. Uh, which is absolutely fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, yes, yeah, so the rest of the empire is fine. We've got some decent money. Is there any, like, more sanitation we need to deal with? It looks like our sanitation is finally starting to become pretty decent now in a lot of these provinces. 
yeah, it's finally starting to cure itself. Sanitation in this region is not great. But what we can do is, again, I don't really care too much about making money anymore. Our economy is fine. So I just want to stop my regions from rebelling or having plague or anything annoying like that. And it does seem like uh, this region is not very healthy. So we will go ahead and build a, a well here. Basically, just wells everywhere. You get a well. You get a well. You get a well. We also got a military camp here, right? Yeah, we got military camps. We can recruit some units. I think we were doing exactly the same here as well. Yeah, working towards that military base around this area as well. So we're just ending with turn again. We have a small force here, which is just biding its time. We can not really recruit anyone. So I guess, yeah, and plague in Constantinople as well uh, isn't great. But again, I think it's fine. So I think we're going to raise another army in Belgrade. And we're going to push these guys forward and hopefully use them to reinforce so i think our standard battle line of four halberds is a great idea then we support them with missiles and cavalry and I, i'm hoping that'll be okay we also have a bit of a, a loyalty issue right now because i think she's running out on a lot of uh, her influence i would love if i had the ability to abdicate um my rule that'd be really nice and maybe something that's at like 12 12 can add in like changing up these buttons a little bit to kind of be a bit more interesting could be really awesome. Like I don't want her. She's a she's a 39 year old you know regent who's just looking after. But he's 17. Maybe when he's 18, uh, they'll take control. But basically, what's been happening is obviously her influence is so low. So all of these guys are having pretty low loyalty. However, if we do stick them in these positions, their loyalty does go up. So we will stick them in our treasury positions and hoping that will be enough to to quell their their unhappiness. If anyone else with poor loyalty, no. Uh, it's just okay. Well, we'll stick these guys up because these all do help out the overall regions as well, giving us more money. Actually, you can go up there to the chief court. That's kind of a little sad. Like, I'm, I'm basically just closing my eyes and clicking. I have so many characters which I just don't feel connected with. I wish there was more of like a, like, I'm literally just like, I don't care what's going on right now. I don't know. I wish, I mean, I think it's just an Attila problem. I feel like they've done a good job in room two of making characters feel more impactful and interesting but i'm basically just clicking i i feel no connection to like any of these commanders i don't really know why that is why is it that I, I don't you know i've been fighting with a few of these maybe it's their pictures maybe it's their that there's no like kind of interesting speeches maybe it's because their traits don't really matter i think a big part of it is the, the upgrade trees as well I think the up tree, upgrade trees in Attila are just so bland that I just don't really care too much, you know, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not so, like in Room 2, I think the recent updates they've made have been great because it's kind of a bit like, oh, awesome, you know, I can go ahead and get towards this epic trait I'm working towards. Oh, it's amazing. I'm really, I'm really happy I've got it. Whereas in, in Attila, it's kind of just like, I'm just clicking and I'm, I'm getting some bonuses, but it's all pretty, like... It's all pretty shitty stuff, which I'm picking up nice. They're going to secure it now. Uh, hopefully, the Sultanate of Rum will secure the city. It is walled, but I don't think that'll make too much of a difference. Um, yeah, it's kind of just like, I, like I'm not really working towards anything great towards the end of the tech trees. And I think as well, because it's kind of like a linear tree as well, where it's, you kind of pick up everything. Um, whereas in Rome 2, you, you choose from like several different stuff. Even if you go down one tree, you don't have to stick with that tree, which I think is nice. Um, I don't know, yeah, I think that's actually kind of a, a big way, because in the DEI campaign, which again, I, I don't mean to keep on referring to, but it is honestly that amazing, um, in that campaign, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, specking my general outs to, generals to be certain stuff, and I've definitely learned for the next time we do that a lot more of the, the strategy, and oh my god, these turn times are taking so goddamn long. Rebellion where? Over here, we don't even own this, do we? Um, let's, we want her to have as much influence as possible, so political favours, political favours, we want to lower their influence, which is good actually, because we lower their influences and give them good positions, so our loyalty issues are still there, they didn't gain any loyalty, why not, maybe we have to have more terms in like a, a term in office or something, god damn, if we have like a mass rebellion I'll cry now. Um, so yeah, we wanna we can just secure the city now. Antioch is ours, pretty pretty important city as well. But we are just gonna secure that for the empire. Uh, I've also spoken to well, the mother dropped me a message when I was offline. Oh, we could liberate. We could create the kingdom of Jerusalem. I mean, that's a faction we're gonna end up playing. Definitely, Jerusalem rises, not in Jerusalem. <laughs> but I mean, they'll secure that. Uh, they'll hopefully secure some regions. 
Can we get them to now join our war? To go on crusade? My master Let's see if they want to. I mean, yeah, we'll trade. And we'll secure a bit of money for ourselves. What wisdom do you bring? No, we don't want to do that. Actually, no, what we want to do, we don't want to offer any money. We want to get them to join our war against the, uh, the unholy alliance of uh, the Ayyubid Sultanate. What if I was to offer you some money? Um, what was I was, if I was to offer you as much as I have? Which isn't a lot, actually. No, they wouldn't do that. Oh, well, we'll just get trade. And we'll demand, like, I don't know, like... A thousand gold. Perfect. We'll get trade with them, and I'm sure they'll want to join our war eventually. Um, so then we still actually have another army as well. This is not under siege. I might just go and take it. It's not part of any of my regions, and I don't really want to. But this we could take... Or we could march just further down. I think we'll go out and secure this um, whilst we're here. And you can come along as well. We obviously also have that, that uh, catapult. So we can basically just go from town to town securing. Because a lot of their armies are spread out throughout the empire, right? And taking these walled cities, basically it's just a kick in the nuts of them. Because they don't, they can't then... Um, I mean, it's just very hard for them to secure these provinces once we take them. Because they're a walled city gives me squalor. I don't really want the food trader. So we'll destroy that. And that gives me squalor as well. My god. Yeah, we need to, we need to like build up these provinces from the ground up. This can be prepared and, and transformed though, but everything else. Yeah, so what I kind of want to do is I want to kind of kind of cut across their land and meet up with the Polish. Leave the south for now. Um, we'll let everyone else deal with the south. Also, is the item insulted to turn blue on the map? Yeah, the Ionian Sultanate is blue. Have they always been blue? I just haven't noticed that. Because Sicily and Portugal are doing some, some interesting stuff. Yeah. Si oh, they've actually really pushed them back now. A couple more turns and they'll hopefully really dig the, the dagger in deep. We obviously have our two armies oh marching. Uh, is that part of my region? Uh, it is good. So we do want to secure that. Because taking regions is just really nice. Um, it just it helps kind of keep the culture down. We're not going to be... Oh, we can oh, not reach it, but we'll, we'll take it next turn. There's a few armies out here. There's an entire stack right here. Uh, I mean, if they want to engage us, we're fine with that. Probably picking up some mercenaries wouldn't be a bad idea. Some crossbows would be good uh, to add to our superior missile force. Uh, actually, I should have picked up some cavalry, I think, because that army doesn't have, like, any horsemen. You guys are a little bit depleted, but we'll just merge you up uh, really quickly. I don't mind having one unit not merged up. I'm hoping that they'll take that out. Is our barracks built soon? Our barracks will be built soon in two turns, and then we can build another army. It could also, yeah, two turns, obviously the same province, isn't it, of course. Um, we could move this army back just to recruit an extra couple men really quickly, which I think is what we're going to do. It's good to see, though, that our, our provinces are happy all of a sudden, and we'll start recruiting some infantry. Um, oh, yeah, we're also recruiting this as well, aren't we? Interesting. Um, I might move these guys across, because this region's fine. I mean, all our places are happy. Because our taxes are down one. Okay, cool, makes sense. Um, great, 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 great. So we'll end the turn again, see if they want to come. Also just taking a sip of my G Fuel. If anyone was interested in what that noise was. Not that I'm sponsored by G Fuel. I'd love to be sponsored by them. Because it's what I drink every single time we go to stream and stuff. That's one of the reasons I actually kind of really like this campaign. Um, because, I don't know, I feel like we, we're all on the same page at this point in the campaign. That we know what we're doing. But I don't have to talk about it too much. And I can kind of just talk freely like just bring like like you know i normally talk about 1220 or i talk about my dei campaign and that's what i really enjoy about this campaign in particular is i can kind of just ramble and talk probably retreat from this yeah i can just kind of like ramble and it's good fun i mean this army is pretty good we have a lot of missiles the thing i'm scared of is i don't actually have a lot of slingers themselves we fight the slingers are going to be my biggest problem but I think my archers and crossbows can deal with that. Yeah, we fight this for sure. This will be a fun battle to fight as well. But yeah, as I was saying, like, I feel like in the downtime when we've got these long turns, I can kind of just talk and talk and talk about random stuff and like just stuff I'm, I'm, I'm like really wish was in the game or like 1220 or 1212 mod or just all this random stuff. And you guys seem to be down with that, which is, which is really awesome. Now, our front line's going to be a little bit weak just because we have one less... Uh, one less halberd. But nothing that we shouldn't be able to handle. Uh, we'll put this halberd back in reserve. 
Then we'll stick these guys around the flank, obviously, in their formation. Probably a longer, longer kind of defensive formation, just solely because we're heavily outnumbered um, and we want to be a bit careful. The archers are going to have to go on the front line to begin, just because they have a lot of slingers. Artillery is going to go back there, and we'll have some crossbows when they get a little bit closer. Our cavalry will make their way. Probably just going to overload the left flank, and our general cav can go there. And we also have another unit of crappy spears, which I guess will just go there. Perfect. Let's start this battle. I wonder where their reinforcements are going to come on from, from this left-hand side. Um, which means I probably have to curb this battle line just a little bit. But I'm sure it'll be fine with Pavi. Oh, we need to get I mean, that Pavi's line. That's a pretty scary battle line right there. We are losing our advantage. I don't think we really ever had an advantage when it comes to uh, the superior the enemy, enemy forces. Spotted. Where's our artillery line? Our artillery line's here. We'll stop bombarding all of their slingers. We want to take them out as quickly as possible. The slingers are going to be deadly. But our archers are also pretty decent as well. Um, probably normal shot is fine. Probably also extend my battle line just a little bit to like there um, just so we're a little bit more stretched out and kind of meet their missiles the artillery is shooting hopefully as well yeah nice and direct hits right off the bat killing 20 of these guys and that might not sound like a lot considering how many they have but every single kind of you know every single uh soldier we take out that is very effective and that does play a big role in the battle you know if i can kill out another you know, 20 of these guys before the end it just helps make my missile kind of shooting a lot more uh, impactful. So let's change focus now again. We'll try and shoot this unit now. I'm hoping that our archer line is gonna, not going to be completely overwhelmed either. And it does look like their reinforcements are just going to match me. These halberds are all in battle lines. I'm going to reform them just to double check really quickly. Artillery still coming in. Okay, some good hits. Our archers are actually outranging their slingers. Really interesting. I'm going to push up our cavalry as well. If they want to meet us in open battle, then I'll take it. I think our cavalry is superior than theirs. We will use our archers probably to focus down their missiles. So you guys focus that down. You guys focus that down. You guys focus that. Can you guys not shoot out of interest? I'm going to move my general round as well. Okay, our archers are going to have to fall back very soon. Probably now, if I'm not mistaken. The yeah, archers just get back now. Their cavalry seems like it's getting smashed by mine, which is exactly what we want to have happen. The artillery can keep on shooting away. They've got more cavalry. I mean, look at that streamline. We'll slow-mo it really quickly. So many men just pouring in. So a lot of them as well. A lot of spears. Wow. God damn. God damn. It's a lot. But uh, as I said, our halberds should be full. Some of our archers have been caught. We're just trying to continue to get them back. It's like our main goal. Crossbows. Hold fire. Hold fire there. Our general's over here as well. I'm hoping our cavalry. Our cavalry managed to rear charge them there. Let's get these guys out of here. Probably not worth us throwing in our general here. Turn our, turn our attention, try and break back these knights. The general's really good, so he should be able to deal with a lot of these guys. If we can kill their general, that should be great. I'm actually going to unlevy the pavis, get them over here. The rest of my pavis are just holding, which is great. You archers, let's focus down something there. You archers, fall back, please. The rest of our halberds are doing what they do, especially against these lightly armored spears. It's going to be very difficult for them to break the, uh, the battle line. Okay, our general's already smashed them, which is perfect. We're killing their general. Yeah, in this mod, it seems like trying to run away from engagements is very, very difficult. Like, very difficult. Artillery, let's go and maybe focus down. What do we shoot? Maybe some of these axemen. These axemen probably do scare me a little bit. They look like they're really heavily armed. The Persian uh, axemen right there. We can, however, convert our formation round a little bit. I mean, our archer's doing a great job. These, these, uh, these dudes are doing great though as well. They actually run out of ammunition on their slingers. These slingers do not, are not very good, it would seem. Yeah, these guys are going to have to form a box now. They're a bit out in the open. They send our general after that cavalry. Probably best to get our cavalry out of this battle as well. Just because this big clump of infantry is just spearmen basically, right? So, so we formed a nice little box with our, our PVs. They're kind of out in the open, but I feel like that's all we can do now. 
These archers have won uh, the engagement now. So let's bring them around the left flank. Same with uh, these spearmen as well. Let's bring these guys around a bit. These halberds can even move around as well. Along with the archers. I mean, most of their men are, are, are ready to die. Our general's just cutting down some of their men. Chasing them down is going to be a big issue as well in this, in this battle. Let's shoot their horse archers. You guys finish up their last unit there. Got these archers moving around. And then these archers just shoot the central flank. I think just get your men stuck in here as the artillery continues to roam in. Try and bombard them. Where did that artillery shot come? Oh, right here. Yeah, I mean, you guys are basically just going to run away. I don't want to do this because I really don't like it when the AI doesn't... Um, when, when like the AI just chases my cavalry because I kind of feel like it's a really cheap tactic. But I'm just trying to get it around. I'll get it around and charge down these horses right here, I think. You guys shoot that. Well, damn, let's move that there. You guys need to get out of defensive formation. Make your way to protect that left flank. Got all these spearmen coming around as well, which is perfect. All of these archers are shooting into this big clump of infantry, which is slowly breaking down. We're going to have these halberds, which I'm going to send over here as well. Crossbows, shoot that. You guys try and keep them busy, or are they going to keep on coming? No, good. But I mean, the crossbows have a perfect so shot in the side. They're going to demolish these uh, Numidian spearmen. on the side, they're literally not going to stand a chance. The, the bees doing their job. Oh my god, cavalry, just get out there, go there, and then go there. That's what I want you guys to do. The archers doing what they do best. Yeah, I feel like we, we got this battle pretty secure, especially with this artillery. It's just causing havoc on their battle lines. I mean, look at that right now. So many of our men are up with these, just in a box formation. Oh, that's a pretty cool kill animation right there, if you don't know if you guys saw that. Artillery bombarding, more of their men charging in, but it's just, there's not a lot of quality in these armies. Um, I hope that is an issue that's fixed, like, in later versions. It seems like at these points in the campaign, the AI just isn't building good quality men, or good quality armies anymore. They've got a lot of them, but they're not very good, so... I hope that's an issue. If that is an issue, it is fixed in later versions. The cavalry really gets stuck. Guys, just go there, please. Rest of their men, though, slowly being cut down. I mean, we're starting to push in the rest of our men as well. These archers have had their day in the sun, so just move over. Artillery is still bombarding, but it's probably completely worth it still. I mean, I imagine we're just going to rout these guys. They're going to use lose a unit of horses, though. A little bit annoying. You guys shoot into that. You guys chase them off. Yeah, but they're still trying to cause a bit of an issue. I guess we'll just slowly envelop this. We've got halberds coming in from every side here. I do want to close off their retreat so we can just kill everyone. That would be ideal. Our archers are moving around here for a reason. I guess we'll send our general off to chase them down. And then this unit... I mean, we can probably send everyone off to chase them down. But there's only one horse left in that unit as well. God damn. I want to see how many kills our artillery is only on 122 kills, but I feel like it's so many more. I think it doesn't count how many kills the burning damage does. I mean, yeah, all of these, all of these crossbows should be shooting into this now. But these crossbows should be doing so much damage to the enemy sides because it's completely like open armor right there. And the rest of our infantry just moving around. These guys can come around and shoot this. Yeah, there we go. The Halberd battle line is just so strong against the AI. And again, that's one of the reasons I love the head-to-head -head with Darren so much in DEI. Is because whenever I fight these battles, you know, like, I have to, uh, I have to be really careful. Because it's not going to be a dumb AI who's just going to charge my Halberds head on. You know, it's going to be very, very strong... Um, you know, it's going to be a strong play. He's not going to do dumb stuff like the AI does, which just makes every battle really interesting. And one of the cool things we have is if the battle is not over 75%, uh, you cannot auto-resolve it. You have to fight it. Which I always think was a really, really cool idea because um, it basically just makes us fight more battles and close battles at that, which I think is just always really cool. So the artillery is clearing up the last couple of men. Anyone else we need to charge down? A few, like, 60 spearmen, which I would love to get rid of. Yeah, we'll just finish this up. Battle is basically over now, though. 
Cavalry could definitely cause me some issues, though. That gets a good rear charge if on, on me. I mean, we're just going to try and pick it down with a few of these bolts from our crossbows. Let's charge. Let's charge. Fight that. You know, they're not going to be doing great much longer. We have plenty of reinforcements on their way. The artillery is just finishing off the last couple. You have this cavalry charging down the last couple of their men as well. All of these archers as well, finishing their last couple shots off. Well, we'll speed it up now. We'll, we'll just run through this. Battle is over. And the last, kind of killing the last couple. This Bavizvo held really effectively. Really effectively. So I'm happy with how they performed. Cavalry is just chasing down the last couple of their men. Anything with like 50 soldiers in, I ideally want to try and take out. I definitely want to try and kill this. Because again, if we, kill, if we kill these armies here, they're going to start to run out of places where they can keep on replenishing this, right? There's going to be so many positions um, where they're not going to be able to re-recruit this. And again, that is another reason. Sorry to bring it up once again. You guys must get sick of me. Um, but... One of the reasons why I love DEI so much in multiplayer campaign is that they have population in. And having population changes the whole goddamn game. It's a feature I wish we see in Total War again one day because it's amazing. Like, I was fighting these early wars as Rome and heroic victory as we do it, gang gang. Um, I was fighting these early wars as Rome, constantly in wars, and I drained the population of Rome. Um, so I was aiming, like, I was ending up the cat oh, ending up the battles towards the early game not being able to field my own units i had to recruit foreign population and stuff like that to field these foreign units to fight for me because so many of my actual citizens had died in the battles so like this feeling of like attrition and wearing someone down and you know you may not be winning battles but if you're killing their soldiers they're going to be running out especially on frontier provinces like for example i've secured Ready greece now battle. there's not many roman people there for me to recruit from so a lot of my roman soldiers come from uh, come from Rome and Italy itself. So if when or when I fight Darren and I if I fight him in Greece I'm gonna have to be very very careful with my actual recruitment of soldiers We're gonna retreat from this one. I think I'm gonna have to be very very careful with recruiting soldiers uh, From from you know Greece and stuff, you know Darren can hit me in Greece And if I get wounded in a in a battle I'm not gonna be able to replenish that army very easily because I'm not going to have any people to replenish it by. So taking these frontier provinces is, you know, risky and you have to really develop them and make them good. That's kind of annoying, uh, but I'm sure the Mongols won't be able to do shit against uh, my cities. I'll just let them run on because I imagine the Mongols. But yeah, this is a tr like, and also it kind of gets, oh my god, we're going to have a fucking huge civil war and I'm going to rage quit. I think, <laughs> like, that's going to be insane. Uh, half the empire is going to fall. But I mean, as I said, we're only playing this campaign. I'm kind of happy with where it's at right now. Uh, you know, the, I'm pretty sure the Ayubid Sultan is fairly beaten back. They have like a selection of armies here and here. But besides that, they don't really have anything. And these armies look like they're starting to come down. I mean, once this arrives, it's just over, right? There's so many there. Um, so we're just playing this until the, the new update comes and we can start our new campaign as Jerusalem, which is what I'm really looking forward to. Be so let's go ahead and How just kill I these have? armies and auto resolve, or auto -resolve these battles really quickly. Just slaughter these armies off. Finish these off just so it's like one or two less armies. And we'll take them replenishment as we are a bit out in the open, you know. Same with this army as well. They do not, after being defeated by my legendary knights, they do not deserve to be around anymore. Uh, we could just march on this city, but I feel like, again, we're a bit out in the open if we do so. Baghdad doesn't have any men in. What about up here? I mean, for now, we'll leave that there. Ready for battle. Um, we could just march out and kill these armies. They're much, these armies are much better by, by, the, uh, by the, the Zengid dynasty. They're not that much better. Like, I mean, this army doesn't have How much cavalry. I I, I'd love to kill them and then just push up. They still haven't taken this yet either. Even though I've given them strict orders to do so. Uh, yeah, you're still recruiting, which is great. Uh, we are building an army up here right as well, yeah. Even though Belgrade does have plague still. And now, in turn, army this army has plague. So that is fine. We'll just keep on recruiting. They'll, they'll replenish over time. Because I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about population, right? So I can just keep on recruiting. 
Are you ready to do your duty uh, we'll recruit the these tribe. guys next turn. Um, so we still have four grand. Anything else we want? We're still building our wells to help out sanitation. That looks all pretty good. Um, this army again is just garrisoned, plagued once more. Maybe we do just destroy this and build. I mean, it's maybe the gold mine. The gold mine is going to be 1,200 gold. That is a lot of cash. Um, yeah, you're still recruiting, which is perfect. And you're going to come in and probably take out uh, Cyprus here. Um, I kind of just want to kill this. I think I know what we do. Okay, so cool. We move this army here. You move into this army. And you give up some of your uh, your infantry. This army is not that great. I think we do something like this. So we give up the spearmen. And then you already have your archers. You only have one unit of knights and one artillery. I think this is what we do. Because then you still have lots of archers and stuff. And you also have a lot of artillery. You have two pieces. So this is a very defensive army with the halberds and archers. No cavalry whatsoever. And then I think we attack this army. It's going to be an interesting battle. We actually do not get reinforcements. But I kind of don't want reinforcements. I feel like we don't need it. So let's jump into this battle. Uh, we have two pieces of artillery, which will force the enemy to come to us at some point. Also, just got an achievement called Head for Business. What's that? I can't whip up the steam overlay, but we'll take a look. I'm so, so It's funny that we're still picking up these achievements, even like so many years in. So, what is Head for Business? Uh, ransom 10,000 enemy soldiers. <laughs> I don't know why we just got that. Maybe it knows. Maybe it knows we're about to absolutely demolish them. So as always, strong line like so of halberds, um, uh, infantry can just go on the flanks and reinforce where needed. And our fat line of archers in the center, um, our crossbows can go in the center, and then our artillery can go here as well. Uh, interesting to note that this general unit seems to have, um, we're actually going to do this, have two infantry wide in shield wall and these are going to protect these because I know the AI does like to try and uh, hit my missile line midway into the battle. So we're going to do something like that I think. And we have one unit of spears? Yeah one unit of spears which can also go here as well. So where are the enemy reinforcements going to come from? From my fucking left enemy of course they did. Okay let's, uh, let's rotate and let's do that I think. And let's be quick about it. It's going to be annoying to move these artillery pieces back. I think they're going to reform anyway. Uh, which is fine. Oh, also the morale on these guys are awful. This will give me time to reform, which is fine. Um, I think the artillery will make it in time. If not, we're going to have to push forward a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have to push forward to like here. Fuck. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. But we should just about make it in time, so... I'm sure it'll be fine. The artillery is not going to be as effective. But all our archers should be up here. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, look at that. They really love to throw their, their horses around the side of my flanks. Uh, the archers are almost in range, so you can push up a little bit. You can just go up to there. Um, yeah, you guys are going to get hit. That's fine. I should like, commit a unit of spears out here. Along with these swords. And also my general unit. The general unit's got a fucking fat off unit, right? So, and this artillery should be ready to uh, unload on the missiles. I'm going to focus down the archers first. Just because the archers have a one unit that can really hurt me. Uh, archers, get back, please. Our general's going to go in and hit them. I mean, we could definitely lose this battle. If our halberds start to go down. Because it does seem like they've got a lot of archers. And their archers are simply focusing down on my own missiles. Hopefully, though, our artillery and superior missile fire can just beat them back. This cavalry is charging into my pretty thin lines of, uh, of halberds, but they are going down, which is nice. The artillery seems like it's doing a great job at breaking them away. Our general has smashed their horses. I sent my general off, I think. Um, these halberds are going to be fine as well. I just don't want my missiles to get overwhelmed um, by like chasing down missiles. I need to make sure I keep on correct them. We can also throw in some more infantry here as well. Crossbows can change focus onto another unit. All of this cav can engage that cavalry. You can engage that. And we are slowly starting to take out their missiles. They are, they are running low on men. And once these archers are taken care of, we should be in a great situation, I think. More infantry coming across to support the center point. Uh, you crossbows, shoot it wherever you can. 
your missiles are going to shoot it wherever you can. Probably just come over and we can reform up two more units of infantry over here. Spears are chasing back down. Our generals is, yeah, generals getting shot to pieces right now. Fuck, what do we do about that? Um, I mean, they're about to route, so you can all change there quickly. And you guys change that. Yeah, general's taking a bit of missile fire. I'm going to rally him. Maybe we're going to have to get him out of here, though. The swords really aren't helping too much. Let's try and run him out. He's going to take a lot of curves. You're probably going to see his number drop pretty heavily. But obviously, we cannot afford to lose our general in this battle. Uh, you come back here. Yeah, this is what I'm a bit annoyed about, about our archers running away. Fuck, that's bad. Luckily, I mean, our morale isn't great either. We're going to lose this battle now, I think, maybe. We've still killed a lot, but losing that general is huge. Like, it really is big. The, the enemy general has gone down. He must have just been caught or maybe got shot hit by a lucky arrow. I was hoping because his number is so big, his infantry, he's just not going to not gonna get taken down like that. But unfortunately, he did. Uh, crossbows has changed focus now. If we kill their missiles, we win this battle, I think. Uh, we just need our archers to stay true to the cause and hit the enemy down. Our generals chasing down this unit, perfect. These spears can now make their way in. The artillery focusing down these big clumps of missiles. Yeah, missiles are really the, the key problem I have. So maybe getting more cavalry would be great in these armies, maybe. Definitely could be a, a sensible decision to be making. I think though this battle still okay. Yeah, nice. Now cavalry can come back in. At least I can be a little bit more reckless with this, this cavalry. And this artillery really does do a ton of damage. It does a lot more damage than it, than it shows. Because there's an initial hit, which kills a couple. And then it, it kind of spreads and the fire does a lot more damage. Which is what we want to look at. Oh, our archers are kind of finishing this off. Sorry, this has not been a very like cinematic battle episode. I mean, especially when the battles look like, look how colourful that is, that's awesome. So these battles do look spectacular. Do not help the wounded, bloody hell, that's a bit uncalled for, is it not? Okay, last unit to kill. Last archer unit, and then the battle is basically won. Archers again. Wish there was a guard mode. Because there's a guard mode in Rome 2 now. Which there wasn't before, I swear. Wish there was a guard mode in, in this as well. It's so nice. I guess I could just tell them skirmish mode. But I want to be as far off as I can, right? Okay, missiles can go around this flank now. We can start enveloping them. Do the old enveloru. And finish off this battle. Um, we lost our general, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. He was such a good general as well. Oh, so annoying. The artillery, I guess, can just hammer at whatever's running away. Uh, that's so unfortunate that we lost our general. Uh, shoot the horses, please. Missiles are just making their way around the back. We'll surround them and uh, finish them off now. How frustrating, though. Missiles just killing off the last of the cavalry. But at least we've killed this army, which is kind of a pretty important thing to do. As I said, the artillery is just trying to kill the extra couple of dudes running away. There's nothing really for them to shoot at right now. Oh my god, this unit of uh, infantry is about to lose to their, their jib spearmen, a swordsman. I know these swordsmen are good. I didn't think they were that, well, they were that decent. I guess they are fighting spearmen and stuff, so. Battle is pretty intense right here. Do have missile fire coming in, though, now. Which is exactly what we do want. Probably should direct it a little bit more efficiently, though. That's a lot of archer fire as the artillery just rattles off once more. Their yeah, cavalry was really good as well. I mean, I guess they are like armored cataphract horses. Yeah, the archers are just doing their job now. Artillery is finishing off the last couple men. I guess we can use these crossbows actually to kind of just shoot them as they try and flee because these all do rack up a lot of damage. I would, would love to kill a couple more of these guys. So we're going to let our archers continue to shoot. Our general's just done that. But I mean, the general's dead and so is their uh, general. So 
We'll just triple speed it. We'll let our archers chase down a few extra couple men. We'll let all of these guys shoot a couple extra men. The artillery, maybe just focus that down. Try and get a couple. Because I just like I just don't want to have to fight these men again. And if I can just wipe the armies a little bit more effectively, it's perfectly. Like I, don't, I, I tend not to try and do this. Again, something interesting me and Darren have, like a rule that me and Darren have in our head-to-head -head campaign is when the, uh, when the enemy... Uh, when when we hit the end battle screen, we have to end the battle. So as soon as that, that screen saying battle is over, do you want to continue or end? We have to click end. So if we do want to chase down men, it has to be in whilst the battle is still going on. So that you just don't spend like 10 minutes at the end of the battle killing everyone, you know, as, they, as they're fleeing. Which I think is kind of a cool way to do it. So it means you actually have to pay attention and weigh up whether or not it's good to chase away enemy infantry um, whilst the battle is still going on or, or what. Take on that 12% replenishment. Um, nice vote. We managed to smash two of their armies. So I'll take that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and assign our king, right? He's loyal, authoritarian. Yeah, cool, sure. Ready for orders. Oh, is he actually taking over now as well? Perfect. So he's when he's 18, I guess. Uh, meaning that she can se uh, secure more loyalty. Yeah, let's secure loyalty of these upper dudes. Um, anyone else go any higher? Like warlord or chief? Something like that's probably good. We also can maybe arrange some marriages between my daughters, maybe. Can we do that or not? I don't know if we can. I guess she's not old enough. She's 17, so yeah, you have to wait till 18 before they can really do much. Thirsty for battle. I guess we'll take the city. Uh, we'll just occupy it. Thirsty for battle. Yeah, killing a lot of their generals. Ready I guess you just battle. go back inside the city here as well. So we secured two of the, the frontal cities, which is great. That has been destroyed. I think we're just going to... Yeah, we think we're just going to destroy this completely and build, like, a well or something sanitation-wise there. Sure, something like that is good with me. Um, so, nice. We made a nice little indent into their territory, securing a couple more bits of territory. Yeah, because, I mean, if we could... If the thing is, I, I would love to meet up with the French or the Polish. If we can connect our battle lines, which I think we're going to soon, especially, as I said, as these armies are slowly moving down, if we can connect our battle lines, we'll be in a great situation. You can't chase these armies down, but they're basically non-existent now, right? Yeah. Be How can I help? Um, and I guess just more food would be nice. So, sure. We'll pick up... I mean, not really, actually. We have plenty of food. Ready for battle. We've got this army building a couple extra men. We build we any more? We can build one fighters. more. Build a couple more. Oh, nice. Probably that, and that's the infantry done in this kind of small throwaway army. And we can move them around here because the barracks is done perfect. Well, let's end the turn um, and then we'll end the episode. Because I want to see, actually, I want to see how the uh, enemy react to this. So we also have a new province as well. Because so many edicts, yeah. That's crazy. Um, just Christian stuff. Uh, yeah, I want to see how the AI perform, and I want to see if the French and that are coming down in the Holy Roman Empire. Because when they turn up, it's over. For the enemy. But we'll basically just, you know, I, yeah, as I said, like, if we get attacked this turn by the enemy, then that's fine. We'll probably just save it and do it next turn. But if, if we don't, then I just want to basically see how the enemy are moving. Um, it seems like there's a lot more armies as well, like of Aragon and Castile, moving along quite nicely. So yeah, we're going to get attacked by Armenia, which is again fine. Oh, fucking hell, that's a large enemy. Fuck it, hell, that's a lot of men. That is a lot of men. Well, our king could die right here. But I'll save that for next episode. We have an okay... Oh, I don't know, this battle's going to be interesting. We have artillery and stuff. But there is uh, a large amount of enemy armies. I imagine these Armenian heavy infantry are not going to do great against our halberds. We only, have, we only have four units of halberds. We have a lot of missiles, which I'm kind of happy with. Okay, well, this is all going to be for next episode. If you guys are looking forward to this, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, make sure to drop a like and a comment if you are still enjoying it. I think we're going to be okay. I think because once, once we route like two of these armies, the other one should follow pretty quickly. And they can only have two of these armies on a, the field at one time. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, so let's save the battle. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Our king could be meeting his early grave already. My god, I'm bad at this game. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed and fish out.